Hey guys, it's Wenji here. Welcome back to my channel and today's another episode of Try It Wenji where I try different things to see if you want to try it yourself. Now this is a long awaited episode because ever since I bought this mask from Japan when I went to Beauty Bound to meet Michelle Fan, you guys have been asking for me to try it so I finally am doing this Try It Wenji. I have a bonus for you guys because I also got the carbonated bubble clay mask and it's called Eliza Rekka Milky Piggy and this was bought to me by Leo Yu so thank you for bringing this to me all the way from Korea but I'm gonna be trying these two masks today they're both bubbly masks I'm gonna kind of do a comparison and let you guys know my first impressions I have a feeling they are more than just a novelty product and they may end up making your skin feel super good but I'll let you guys know how I feel by the end of the episode and I'm really excited to announce that we've hit over 900,000 family members here which is insane I said exactly the same thing last time and I can't believe it guys you guys are amazing and to celebrate I really wanted to give something back to you guys so I'm gonna be giving away three of these bubbly masks and all you need to do is tell me down below what your current favorite mask is of course you have to be subscribed because this is giving back to my family and if you haven't joined my family already it's super simple all you need to do is click the subscribe button and you'll be notified of my two videos that I make per week let me know down below if you are a new member Member, and I'll be really happy to welcome you guys and I'm sure all of the rest of the family will welcome you guys as well So without further ado, let's jump straight to trying these products because I'm like super excited Really 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 excited. I always have fun when I look a bit silly on this channel. So let's go oh, I have no patience for packaging what the tube looks like what it looks like Ooh. It's kind of like this gel texture. I don't know how this will foam up. When I started spreading this mask on my face, it's that slime in Ghostbusters. I don't know if any of you guys watched that, but woohoo! It's kind of really slimy and thick. From what I can see, it's not bubbling. It's kind of hard to spread, and I feel like maybe if you have like a spatula or something, it will make this process a lot easier. I don't feel like I'm doing like one of those like cucumber masks. You know, like when you see like in the movie. It felt like the beginning of the tube wasn't as carbonated. Why won't you bubble? Because the first lot that I spread on my skin didn't really bubble up that much. Okay, so it's on guys. I'm gonna wait for this to bubble. Are you gonna bubble? It's not bubbling. Is it activated by something that I don't even know? Oh! It's bubbling! Look, look, look! Bubbling, bubbling a bit here on my forehead. Can you see the edge? But as I was applying this product onto my skin, it literally started bubbling like crazy. So I kind of just got excited and kept putting more on because I really wanted my first try of this mask to be like super bubbly. So I'm just kind of adding more and I think because I did this, it's taking longer to dry. I waited about 25 minutes in total for this mask to dry, which is a very long time. I'm sure if you spread a much thinner layer, you're not gonna have this issue, but I just, you know guys, I just really wanted a really bubbly face, so I just kind of kept going. But it's really crazy how it feels on your skin. I can actually hear like it bubbling. You know when you like, pour yourself like a cup of soda or like coke or anything and you put your ears towards the cup and you can hear all this bubbling that's exactly what you hear on your face when you have this mask on and it kind of feels like you have carbonated water on your face you can feel like a slightly like tingly sort of bubbling sensation I highly suggest though when you wear this mask to go scare someone that you know because it's hilarious my boyfriend actually said that I look like I had mold growing on my face so that was, that was flattering. I waited till this mask dried. It wet, so I'm gonna wait a little bit longer even though it literally looks done. Like, look at this. <laughs> I feel like I like Santa Claus, but like my beard didn't know when to stop. <laughs> it's quite funny. It feels like marsh, like a super soft marshmallow. Can you hear the noise? Oh, that feels wet. Oh, my giant 
Oh, look at that, look at that, look at this. That looks disgusting, guys. I'm quite sticky. Let's just keep waiting, shall we? I've been lying down because like my face is now drooped to this side. But I was trying to take some selfies as well and tell you guys, it's very hard to feel sexy like this. When you feel like it's really hard on the edges and it's kind of hard underneath, that's when you know it's time to pull the mask off. <laughs> Peel this off. You might have heard of it because this is like the type of mask that's like stuck to your skin. But I feel like the carbonated parts are a bit looser because the oh because the air has lifted it up. I can feel some of like my facial hair that grows on my face getting peeled off. It helped me wax my hairy face, which is good I guess. I'm gonna show you this at the end. Really soft. My skin hasn't felt this soft for a long time. You wanna get rid of all the dirt and oil on your skin. Clay masks are perfect and it minimizes your pores as well. Only there's lots of fakes. So this one has a serial number which you can about like this and it gives you the authenticity number. I like getting a scratchy. So it comes out like this. This is what it looks like. Stick wrap, which I'm gonna get rid of. Ooh. look at what's inside comes with a little spatula and we'll lift this up a little lid plastic lid that sealed it in Ooh, ooh! this is what it looks like inside it's a bit like like a bouncy gel kind of like a chocolate mousse this product seems so much easier to spread because they gave you that spatula and it made putting this product on so much easier. You can definitely get more use out of this one, I think. It also is a lot slimier and slippery when it put it on, so unlike that gel mask, which is really hard to move across your skin, this kind of went on like a dream. Ah! Oh! I dripped it on my new top. Make sure you avoid the eye area. It's bubbled up so high, I can it on my eyelashes. Can you see that? Me up my nose. <laughs> Me up my nose. I felt like I was just gonna breathe it in and and like die from it or something. You're supposed to leave it on for three to five minutes. Five minutes usually I think I like to leave masks on for a bit longer. Only because I think like if I leave it a little bit longer I'm gonna get more out of it like more value for money. Yeah that that's I don't know if that is actually true. It's gonna be completely dry when you wash it off. In fact, it will just start bubbling straight away. And by five minutes, I look like a cloud monster. You know those rock Pokemon? I don't know, because it was gray. Once it's finished bubbling at five minutes, they actually ask you to press the mask onto your face to really get rid of the dirt. They say if you want to get rid of more dirt, you can add a little bit of water and massage your face for two minutes with the product on. So you do this, it's quite messy. I'm going to go wash my face and oh my gosh, it was like a struggle to wash off. It felt so slimy. And because I put a thick-ish layer on, I just felt like it took forever. Either hop into the shower for this or use a tissue and wipe it off first because I feel like using the tissue to wipe it off will get rid of the majority of it before you wash your face. I'm really, really impressed with carbonated mask and bubbly mask. I think that there should be a lot more of these. I feel like the bubbling actually helps lift up a lot of the dirt and gross things from your skin as opposed to just pushing it in when you apply a normal mask. So I'm really excited about this new technology. My favorite out of these two actually has to be the Japanese one. Although it did pull like half my eyebrows off, it made my skin feel so amazing like you have no idea how soft it felt after and I think because of the way that it's like a peely pack and it bubbles and everything it lifted all my dead skin off my face like it all just went onto this mask I can't really see it but I feel like it's just a new layer of skin it pulls out all the little things in your pores and your eyebrows don't don't apply any your eyebrows guys but I've never tried a mask that is so amazing. I'm really sad because 
I think you can only get it in Japan. It was the last one in Don Quixote when I got it, like it was sold out. But if I can find this online, I will link it down below. I'm gonna put the brand and everything down below, see if you guys can find it. The other clay mask was really good as well, it's kind of hard to remove. Yeah, that's my verdict. It's still a great mask. I think it's a lot of fun. If you guys want to try it, definitely. And I'm going to be giving away three of these. So don't forget to comment your favorite mask down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget that I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will see you guys right back here in a couple of days. Bye, guys. This is what the mask looks like from the front. Looks like a horror movie, hey? Well... Yes, yeah, so this is what happens when you stick it too close to your eyebrows. It literally pulls your eyebrows off, which I wasn't too happy about. Um, and it seemed to pull one side more than the other. So warning guys, keep it away from your eyebrows. Um, in terms of what else it pulled out, so many of those little things.